Okay guys, bear with me here because I know it's a bit of a rant, but this is something that needs to be talked about and it's something that is seriously wrong with the comic book genre. So I'm reviewing Birds of Prey, New 2, really really good, amazing book. Um, going to get into the review in just a second, but uh, first of all, just need to say that um, what I'm talking about here is something that is wrong with a lot of comic books, but it's not, it, it's something that is also part of the comic book genre. I don't expect anything to change or anything by my uh, little review here, but I'm hoping that maybe some of the things that I highlight might be interesting to some viewers and might give other viewers pause of thought. In Birds of Prey, women are horrendously misrepresented. And before I continue, this book does come from a series that brought us Wonder Woman, which is one of the greatest female-centered stories I've ever seen. However, Birds of Prey coasts by on the good-looking characters whilst lacking proper story or consistent tone. I know sex sells, I understand that's why E.L. James is now a millionaire, but I really think the teenage genre of comic books needs to grow out of this immature attitude and stop putting heroes such as Zatanna and Poison Ivy in underwear and fishnets. This whole book just feels dirty and I really didn't enjoy it. Okay, so we're moving forward about three weeks from the first pile of New 52 comic books and I got another bit of money, so went and bought a few more New 52s. I'd already reread the first four several times. The first I bought was Birds of Prey, because I really liked the idea of Poison Ivy as a hero working with Batgirl particularly, and I was ready to be surprised by a new 52 take on this team. I was sorely disappointed. The villain comes from the Batgirl standalone book, where he appears as a side problem that works so much better, and the story written by Dwayne Sosinski, whose names just scared the crap out of my Apple spell check, reads as a weak run-through of a couple of origin stories and a series of so-called quirky moments that fall flat before one or two twists and turns that are weak at best and insult the reader's intelligence at worst. My only positive story point is that I found Katana and some of Ivy's scenes endearing to the characters and Batgirl was at least treated with a modicum of respect. The respect shown for Batgirl isn't shared to the other characters who in most panels are in prime pin-up positions, chest thrust out, the artist may be hoping the impractical double D's of Black Canary will cover up some of the appalling dialogue. The only thing that saves this from being a complete write-off is Jesus Sainz, apparently these are real names folks, artwork, which is simple and clear as well as making the women incredibly attractive. The graphology is standard and easy to follow, meaning that it's very readable to first time readers, but I feel it misrepresents the genre, so I wouldn't suggest it to anyone but the strongest Birds of Prey fans or perverts. Going into the pros and cons, there is some good character development, decent artwork, simple panelling, sexy ladies, not in high demand, so it is easy to find a copy. However, it's boring retelling of the origin stories if you know them. There's little or originality, and it just feels like a Batgirl spin-off. It feels token and wooden, and I just leave it feeling a little dirty. Uh, you can get it for quite cheap, though, and at the moment, I can find it for about £7 on Amazon.com, which isn't bad, but you can get a lot better comic books for the same price. And finally, the ratings. I give the writing a 4 out of 10, it feels contrived and a boring spin-off, but there's nothing blatantly wrong with it. The artwork, I give a much higher 7 out of 10. There's too much focus on chest, and it's almost insulting, but it's simple and clear, and easy to determine what's going on. As for accessibility, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's good for new readers, but is a poor ambassador for the genre. For action, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. There's some interesting set pieces, but it's very badly paced. And so, for Birds of Prey, I give overall a 5.5 .5 out of 10. It felt like an alright comic book, but I just feel that it cheapens the genre in its existence. And as for New 52, it's one of the weaker comics. Um, hope you've enjoyed this review. This is my second review. Um, people seem to like my last one. I got a good number of views and uh, a lot of positive feedback. So... Hopefully this will keep going in the right direction and uh, I hope you all enjoyed it and until next time, see ya.